Okay, welcome. We've got a Bible discussion today. And just as a note, this is a remake of a previous video that we made, but the quality of the other video was really poor. And now uh, this topic has been coming up recently. So I hate to point people to a, a video of poor quality, not that we're doing super high end stuff here or anything. But again, just wanted to clean it up. And the topic is, was there a gap in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel? And just a few notes and regarding our starting point here. This discussion is from a preterist perspective, meaning that Jesus Christ came in 70 AD. Also, uh, Jesus' baptism marked the starting point of the 70th week of Daniel, and his crucifixion three and a half years later marked the midpoint of the 70th week. So those are the premises that we're going off here. So the question is, why do this video? Uh, there are some Bible teachers, or many, that claim that there is no gap in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel. So we're going to ask the question, is this true? And did Jesus have anything to say about this? So let's look at a couple of verses here. This is right out of the Olivet Discourse in Matthew 24 and 25. Jesus says, but if that evil servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming. And then the next chapter, chapter 25, Jesus says, while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. So the question comes up, why would Jesus bring in a discussion regarding a delay when he was speaking to his disciples in the Olivet Discourse? So consider this, that his disciples were familiar with Daniel's 70th week prophecy. This also explains why Jesus made other references to Daniel uh, in, uh, in the Olivet Discourse. Clearly, the abomination of desolation was, and this topic of a delay, I believe, just kind of solidifies the same point that he's working off the book of Daniel. This is what they had for information in the Old Testament regarding the timing of the coming of Christ. So consider, again, his disciples were familiar with Daniel's 70 week prophecy. Therefore, after the crucifixion of Christ, they would have anticipated that Daniel's 70th week would be fulfilled within the next three and a half years. So Jesus is foretelling his disciples that there would be a delay or a gap before the start of the second half of the 70th week, he's preventing them from making a mistake in assuming that the fulfillment of the 70th week would occur immediately. So consider, we can let go of the idea that there cannot be a gap in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel. Now, just as a note, it is true that in Daniel chapter 9, the prophecy does not specifically mention a gap. However, Jesus clarifies the prophecy to include the delay or the gap. He's not doing any violence to the prophecy. He's just giving us further clarification. The New Testament does this for us over and over, clarifying Old Testament statements. So the New Testament New Testament clarifies the Old Testament for us. And this is a prime example of it. It's not just the New Testament. It's Jesus himself. His words are telling us about this delay. And additionally, the Bible actually tells us when the delay was over. If we go to Revelation chapter 10, verses 5 and 6, it says the angel, and if you're like myself, you believe that that angel is clearly Jesus. It said the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised up his hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it and the earth and the things that are in it that and the sea and the things that are in it, that there should be delay no longer. So there it is, the delay. This delay is the same delay that Jesus foretold in Matthew 24 and 25. And then he comes in 66 AD to tell you that the delay is over. So how do we know this, that it was uh, marking the gap in the 70th week? Because in the next chapter, Revelation chapter 11, it describes the two witnesses prophesying in Jerusalem for three and a half years. That's where we get the 1,260 days or 42 months. This is the last half of the 70th week. So when you do the math, the gap or the delay ends up being approximately 33 years. And just as a side note, many who deny that a gap exists, they'll say that the stoning of Stephen in Acts 7 marked the end of the 70th week. And it's pretty clear why they're doing this. In their mind, they're saying there can't possibly be a gap. Therefore, something must have happened three and a half years uh, uh, you know, into the ministry there. This is artificially forcing an event to fit the faulty idea that the prophecy had to be fulfilled three and a half years after the crucifixion. Daniel 9 never describes an event 
that that sounds like the stoning of Stephen, the end of Daniel's prophecy spoke of the destruction of the temple. And we know that that happened in 70 AD. Also, there's no accurate time marker for Stephen's death. Therefore, uh, it's my belief that God wouldn't leave us with an event whose time couldn't be determined to confirm that Daniel's prophecy was over. It just doesn't make sense. So the next question that comes up is why was there a delay? Now remember, Peter was present at the Olivet Discourse. And what does Peter tell us? He says in 2 Peter, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some count slackness, but as long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but they should all should come to repentance. And when Peter says us, he's talking about the first century Christians. So Peter says it was the long suffering. That's, you know, he's not being slack. It's long suffering. And later on in the same uh, book, he says, consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation as also our beloved brother, Paul, according to the wisdom given to him has written to you. So that's the reason for the 33 year gap. God was long suffering, waiting for all to come to salvation and repentance. Now, here's a, a quick look at the timeline here, the 40 year timeline. And we know the 40 years typology throughout the Bible. Saul reigned 40 years. David reigned 40 years. Solomon reigned 40 years. And Jesus, in one sense, of course, of course, he reigns forever. But in one sense, he also had a 40 year reign. So in 30 AD, Jesus is baptized by John the Baptist. Three and a half years later, he's crucified. At that point, the clock stops on Daniel's prophecy. And then we have the 33 year gap. And then we jump to Revelation 10 which is just before uh, 70 AD, it's 66 AD. The delay is over as we are also already spoke in that uh, Revelation 10. So Daniel's prophecy restarts at that point. And then from 66 to 70 AD, that's the last half of the 70th week. Again, the 1,260 days, 42 months in Revelation 11. And then in 70 AD, 70 week prophecies fulfilled, destruction of the temple, end of the age, coming of Christ, it was all done in 70 AD. So the conclusion is, there was indeed a gap that occurred in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel. The New Testament, the Bible, affirms the gap. Jesus, in his own words, foretold of the gap. Again, he warned his disciples not to make the mistake of expecting him to come immediately to fill that last three and a half years immediately. And I have a parting verse here. There's so much just typology and design pattern in the Bible. It just I'm sure you're like me. You keep reading the Bible. It just blows your mind how much is there. But we have uh, 1 Kings. Chapter 2, verse 11, it's a, a, a typological picture of King David's 40 years and Jesus's 40-year reign as well. It says, the period that David reigned over Israel was 40 years. Seven years, he reigned in Hebron, and in Jerusalem, he reigned 33 years. And you might say, well, what's the significance there? So the seven years in Hebron, Hebron in its uh, original language, it actually translates to society. So you have David reigning in society for seven years. And then in Jerusalem, it says that David reigned 33 years. We talked about how Jesus, the gap was a 33 year gap. And where was Jesus during that 33 years? He was in Jerusalem. He was in the new Jerusalem in heaven. But the other years he was in society book ending that three and a half years at the beginning and three and a half years at the end. And again, this kind of gets into another whole question that we could do another study on, but was Jesus literally on the earth for the second half of the uh, Daniel's 70th week for the last three and a half years when that mighty angel came down from heaven in Revelation 10. Uh, I believe it could be because it says that the two witnesses, they were standing beside the God of the earth. So possibly Jesus was on the earth, but again, that, that's not the, the main point here. Here, we just wanna confirm the fact that there was a gap in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel. Again, the Bible proves it, Jesus proves it. He warned about it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And as always, contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints and God bless.